So sometimes when it comes to assets in the space, people don't think bigger picture, right? It's very, very focused, very narrow. And I will say there's this narrative that's been going around with Shiba Inu that that doesn't really make much sense, okay? It's completely wrong. These people that have said this, sorry, you're completely wrong, okay? When we talk about adoption, there's one major thing that brings adoption to crypto, and that's charts, right? Good chart performance is typically what brings people into crypto. And when it comes to SHIB, there have been many people that have said that Shitoshi has essentially killed Shiba Inu. They've killed the optics. SHIB won't do well because of this and blah, blah, blah. And you're wrong, okay? It doesn't make sense. And the reason why I say it doesn't make sense is 90% of the holders that are going to be getting into Shiba Inu, they have no idea who Shitoshi is. They have no idea what the SHIB ecosystem is. Most of them don't even know what Shiba Inu is right now. Many of the people that are going to be entering this entering this space in you know this upcoming bull market in the following bull market cycles even beyond that they have no idea what is going on in crypto. So I find it bizarre that people think an an independent group of developers has the the potential and the optics right now to kill a chain. They simply don't. Right? If this was happening. During the heights of a bull market cycle, and we, you know, we were swindled essentially the way that we were <laughs> during these times, then sure, that would definitely cause a little bit of damage, would probably stifle the heights of a bull market cycle. But by the time we actually get those people flowing in from outside the space, either you know, Shibarium or Shib ecosystem will have shifted and have been successful, or they will likely have fallen away. All right. That's the big thing I wanted to make clear. So I know there are some SHIB haters out there. I know there's people that have been in SHIB and have been dissuaded by the um, the lack of clarity when it comes to the SHIB ecosystem. And that's fine. But you have to remember that that stuff hasn't really had an impact on SHIB. Okay. You can obviously see from the charts that SHIB has still gone on runs with the market. Right now, again, we're still just fighting through the, the highest levels of liquidity, the largest ranges of resistance. And SHIB should explode when we get through these levels. As always, this is not financial advice. But right now, the optics for SHIB haven't changed. It's still garnering adoption. There's not people liquidating their holdings in major ways. So this small thinking of, you know, Shitoshi and the SHIB ecosystem are what are going to lead to the downfall of SHIB or had led to the downfall of SHIB. It just doesn't make sense because simply we're not seeing it. So I wanted to, to really make that clear because there are some people that have been misled by misinformation that have, you know, heard what these people have said and have uh, maybe liquidated their bags or, or kind of gotten a little, you know, stir crazy or stirred up because of some of this, again, misinformation. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, but no, I don't think a team of independent developers that haven't necessarily done the greatest stuff during a bear market cycle are going to impact how SHIB performs in a bull market. So I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Show your support below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.